Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the freezer defrost heater in an LG refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers, a pair of side cutters, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Also, we would need a small zip tie. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new freezer defrost heater. This defrost heater is located in the freezer compartment behind the cover panel. It's mounted under the evaporator. The defrost heater, when turned on by the main control board, melts the frost off the evaporator coil. That prevents the evaporator from being blocked by ice buildup. If the temperature inside the freezer compartment gets way above normal and you can see a snowpack on the evaporator cover in the freezer section, it's time to check and replace the freezer defrost heater if needed. To get to the part, we need to open both French doors. Next, I'm going to open the freezer door. And now I'm going to pull out the uh, drawer. As far as it goes. So now I'm going to pull up on this tab using a flat Vesco driver. And then I'm going to lift up on this uh, drawer. Push it back so out of the way. Then I go on the opposite side and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver and I'm going to pull up on the tab and at the same time I'm going to lift on the drawer. And I'm going to push the rail in out of the way. And I'm going to lift off the drawer. Next, I'm going to remove the freezer tray. Next, I'm going to remove the freezer basket and lift uh, the rear end. And I'm going to take this thing out. Now, I'm going to remove the Phillips screw, one Phillips screw on each side of the rail. And then we're going to take over the freezer door. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. Here's the opposite side Phillips screw. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver. We're going to take this one out. Now we're going to remove the freezer door. I'm going to lift first this end out of the uh, here on that slot. So we have a couple of posts here, one on each side, and then we have hooks there at the back. So first I'm going to release these posts, and then I'm going to free the hooks. going to slide the rails in out of the way. Using the Phillips screwdriver I'm going to remove these three Phillips screws and I'm going to start taking out one by one. I'm going to start from the bottom one here. All right I'm going to peel this out of the wall. So we are looking at the rear cover panel in the freezer and that panel is hiding the uh, defrost heater that we need to replace. So we need to take out the panel. So we are going to remove this cover which has the uh, temperature sensor inside. I'm going to slide this screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver into that slot and uh, I'm going to pry it out. I'm going to let it hang down. All right, now we're going to uh, pull this cover. It's kind of hard, but uh, uh, okay. Start pulling it out. 
Then next I'm going to the left side and I'm going to use the uh, flat blad screwdriver and I'm going to place it right here and pry it. And then we're gonna pull the top out and then we're gonna slowly pull it more and carefully and uh, keep it right there so we can take these plugs out right there all right so i'm gonna go one by one all right now i'm gonna remove the cover and I grab the cover and i'm gonna take it out next i'm going to unplug these plugs there's a locking tab here on the top press it down and this tab would be on the top also and free this wire harness now i'm going to use the side cutters and i'm going to cut that zip tie off to free the harness be careful don't cut the harness itself next step would be freeing this side of the wrap coil from that uh, opening over there so we're going to lift it up and remove the hook out of this opening slowly put it down and bend it out just very slow next i'm going to use the uh, needle nose pliers you can use just the pliers and uh, i'm going to grab this bar at the bottom of the bracket and bend it out like that all right so we see that here at the bottom of the wrap coil so we're going to pull down and out on this side of the heater so to release this end of the heater from the bracket so we need to bend this bracket out so I'm going to use the same uh, needle nose pliers. I'm going to bend the bracket slightly out and at the same time I'm going to pull on the heater so we can release it. A little more bending and it's out. And now I'm going to take the heater out. We need to remove this uh, spacer from the old defrost heater. I'm going to use the uh, pliers and take this off. We're going to install it onto the new one. This is the old freezer defrost heater next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. So we've got here our new defrost heater and we need to install the spacer the one we took off from the old one so approximately in the middle press it down you probably need the pliers nice and now we're going to install it into the freezer now i'm going to prepare this uh, bracket for the installation of the new defrost heater i'm gonna bend it slightly out and also i'm going to bend this little tongue down all right so now we're going to install the heater in all right so we've got here a new heater and i'm going to place the left side into this space between the coils here and i'm gonna mount same time we're gonna slide it into this cutout on the right side all right so we're now gonna kind of work out this uh, heater i'm gonna press it on the left left to right and uh, bend this uh, bracket on the right side press it in i'm gonna i'm gonna use the pliers and we're gonna bend this side in and i'm gonna bend this 
up. So now we're going to fix uh, the left side, lift up on the coil slightly, and we're going to, using pliers, I'm going to bend this tab. It's going to support the heater from the bottom. And now we're going to hook this up uh, onto the opening over there. So I'm going to pick up the coil slowly and uh, pull, place that hook into the cutout. Just like that. Now I'm going to place a zip tie here. We're going to tie those uh, harnesses together. Be careful, don't cut yourself on the fins. Don't tell me that I didn't warn you. All right. And using the cutters, I'm going to snap it off. Now I'm going to plug these two plugs in. The yellow goes on the left, and the larger one goes here on the right. All right, so now we're going to install this uh, cover panel and start with uh, plugging in these three plugs. All right, so I'm going to place this one at the bottom. And this one goes on the right. And this one on the left. Make sure they're all plugged in. And now I'm going to install the panel. And lift it up. And I need to place the bottom in, push it in. And I'm going to press the top. And now we can place the sensor with the cover back in. Uh, first, the, the, the right side goes in, and then we're going to bring in the left side and push it in. I'm going to install the freezer drawer rail assembly. I'm going to match the uh, holes here. Press it in. And I'm going to secure it with the... Uh, three Phillips screws and I'm using the same Phillips screwdriver. Now I'm going to pull out the rails. And now I'm going to install the freezer door. First I'm going to lock in the hooks at the back here. And the other side, pushing down, and then we're going to lock these posts. Now I'm going to secure the door with the uh, Phillips screws, one on each side. All right, I'm going to install the freezer basket. The front end goes first. I'm going to dip it in. And I'm going to place the rear end on. Make sure everything is on, on the support. Now I'm going to install the freezer tray. I'm going to put this uh, roller at the back over onto the rail. Like that. And I'm going to slide it in. Now I'm going to pull out these uh, rails on both sides. I'm going to bring in the uh, drawer. All right, so this is our drawer, and uh, I'll show you how it's going to be locked in. This tip at the side of this plastic rail will go in that uh, slot at the back of the rail, and uh, 
this portion will lock at the front of the rail, right there. All right, now I'm going to slide it in, and I'm going to press it down. This side is locked. Next, we're going to place the basket in. You can put it anywhere you want to. It slides free. And now we can close the freezer door. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.